way to fix overheating issue on your Poco X7 Pro. First thing we can do is open settings, then find about phone tab and from here you would need to tap 7 times on the OS version to enable developer options. Let me show you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now I'm a developer. So to find this tab, just scroll down, find additional settings, scroll down again, and here it is. Now in developer options, we would need to find settings such as window transition scale, something like that. So let's just scroll a bit and try to find this feature because as you can see, there are a lot of features. So let's scroll a bit more. And yep, here it is, window animation scale and also animator duration scale. So we need to set both on 0.5 or turn off at all. And this will reduce the load on the processor and lower the temperature of the phone. Let's do the same for this one. Great. Now what we are gonna do next is we need to find here tab background process limit. It is somewhere lower animation. So let's just scroll a bit and yep, here it is. So here choose two processes like that and this will greatly reduce the load on the processor which will help reduce overheating. After that you can simply go back. Let's move on to the next advice which is to charge limit to 80%. For that we need to find battery tab and now we need to go in battery protection and enable battery protection by tapping on the switcher. So as you can see, it will extend battery life and the device will stop charging when battery level reaches 80%. This will also reduce the load on the battery and help prevent overheating. And of course, to prevent overheating, try to use only original or certified chargers and cables. By the way, charging cable goes in a complex body device, you can find it in a box in which your device came, but unfortunately power adapter is not included. You can see it right here. And here you can see most compatible options for power adapter, so between 10 and 90 watts. So you can buy separate one. And let's go back here, find about phone tab again and check your phone for updates. If you got here blue button update, then hit it because usually updates include fixing old issues such as overheating and also adding new features. And of course, the next thing we can do is find display and brightness. And from here, we would need to decrease screen brightness by dragging the slider left and also avoid maximum brightness especially in dark places. And here disable automatic brightness and enable dark mode by tapping it. This will help to reduce load on the battery and also prevent your phone from overheating. And next advice is to disable not needed features. For example, if you are not using Bluetooth at the moment, then disable it because it consumes battery power and also can lead to overheating. So find your Bluetooth and tap on the switcher to disable. You can do the same with mobile data and you can do the same with Wi-Fi. So when you don't use Wi-Fi, just tap on the switcher to disable it. And of course, avoid using your phone to play games, play videos or perform heavy tasks while it's charging. This will help avoid overheating. And also, don't enable or receiving mode while charging your device. And last but not least, restart your phone regularly to clear cache and close unnecessary processes. This will really reduce the temperature of the device. To restart the phone, just find power button and volume up buttons, press them at the same time, and here swipe down till the end to reboot the phone. And that's it for today. I hope those advices helped. 
and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe like and comment i wish you all the best bye bye